Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you the professional 3D video screen effect. So for this effect you need to go with your clip into fusion. Okay, first of all I use a rectangle mask to crop my clip. So just change the width, height and position to your liking. And then I drag and drop a transform node into the node field. And again I change the position of my clip so that my clip is in the middle. Alright, now we want to create this 3D effect, so I press shift and space by the same time and I search for DVE. Select DVE and press add. Now I create some keyframes at the X and Y rotation values. Then I go some frames to the right. And I change the X and Y rotation values to my liking. So now it looks like this. And again I go some frames to the right. And I change the X and Y rotation values. So now it looks like this. Then I go to settings and I check the motion blur box. After that I open the spline tab and I search for my keyframes. Now I select all of my keyframes and I press Alt and S at the same time to smooth out the animation. So now it should look like this. And again I repeat this procedure for another keyframe. Alright, if you are done with your 3D animation then again press shift and space by at the same time and search for tilt shift blur. So I select this and press add. And now you can see some parts of our video are blurrier than others. And with this blur node you can change the blur strength as well as the center x and center y value as well as the angle value and you can change the focus sweep. So for my example I reset all adjustments. Then I go to the first frame of my animation. Then I select the tilt shift blur node and I change these values to my liking. Then I create some keyframes and I go to the next keyframe of my DVE node. And again I adjust the values to my liking. And I do the same for the other two keyframes. Then I select all of my keyframes and again I press Alt and S at the same time to smooth out my animation. And now it should look like this. Okay, now drag and drop a background node into the node field. Press Shift and Space by at the same time and search for Grid. Select Grid and press Add. Then again press shift and space by at the same time and search for soft glow. Select soft glow and press add. And connect the soft glow node with the tilt shift blur node. Now with your merge one node selected go into the inspector and change the operator from over to under. And now you've got a nice grid background. So if you want to change this grid background then you can go to grid. And again press shift and space by the same time search for DVE. Select DVE press add. And you can change the X and Y rotation to your liking. And you can change the Z-move value so that the background is filled with your grid. Okay, that's it for this video. So I hope this video has helped you. If so, then leave a like or sub to my channel. Check the first link in the description to get some nice effects and transitions or watch one of these two videos. And thanks to all channel members. Thanks for watching. Stay creative and bye.